Joffrey Renly Rob Stark are all thieves. They'll bend the knee or I'll destroy them. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Citadel with me, Grand Mr. Stitch, where we return to the Rise of House Grand, where we are in World War Restoros at the moment, as everybody is in one hell of a huge war, apart from the Iron Islands who are yet to get involved. I'm surprised they're not out raiding while they've got the chance. Uh, the Riverlands are currently losing the war, uh, minus 66, but they were right up a lot worse than that, so I think they are turning it somehow, even though they have a lot less uh, manpower, but I think... You don't have to have as much war score and such because they are the defenders. I think as long as they can try and repel them, they might stand a chance. Uh, we can go to a grand tournament. We're not going to do that. What other things have we got? Um, worthiest of the Knights needs a worthy successor. Is this this one here? I don't think we've even got any. Yeah, we can seek some, but it's going to cost us money, so I don't really want to do that for now. Um, our other one has ended, which is a shame because we did have uh, Ingram with his own one, but never mind. Um... Lord Mark wants a seat on the council, which we're not going to give to him at all. Um, and not much else, I don't think. Uh, to the perspective of Robert, I gladly accept your betrothal position. Um, oh, yeah, that's just for one of our courtiers, so nothing too bad uh, for you to worry about. Just things I've done off screen. We are trying to fabricate a claim on this so that we can move into this high lordship, if you remember. Should be nice down the southern side of this river. We still do need to get take pure springs back at some point, but I've got no idea when that's going to happen. Our knight, Lord Ingram, entered Lord Harin's wrestling contest. Oh, well, best of luck, Ingram. I think you're a bit old to be wrestling. We are going to keep an eye on what's going on over here. Old tales, my gate pauses as I descend into the cellar. I fancy I can hear a voice. Yes, there it is. I spy my mother, Andrew, beside a fire, grandly holding her grandchild, Axel. Uh, enraptured with a story i listen in as well catching only stray passages andrew has recounted some tales from a life well lived and the stories of times both new and old clearly rings very true with axel whose mouth hangs excitingly ajape mind if i join this merry circle axel grand increases his learning by one or oh, this is sweet but leave them to it and it's then a 20 percent chance of any of the other ones his learning is very good so yeah mind if i join in with oh 50 percent chance this one it's a 20 yeah this one we've got a chance that he will get something so we'll stick with that and he got one stewardship awesome so seven in all of those not going to complain about that and now it's at minus 95 percent. so it looks like the riverlands is about to fall any second now hopefully they will try and go for independence again though and get away from joffrey once they get we can demand payments from our court here Amos Claypool, our courtier Kerr in Greywield, our vassal Lord Jorin of Cockleshell, our knight Damwell Wakefield, and our son in Angra. So what are these for? Just for hook? Oh, we can demand payments for... You can spend the hook you have on Amos Claypool to demand that they pay you gold. Yeah, we will do that. Then it's not going to upset him, and I, I want the gold, if I'm honest. So he... Yeah, pay 20 gold, and you have an available hook. We can't... Oh, I've already done him, I think, haven't I? Lord Jorin of Cockleshell does not have enough gold to pay. Well, we'll just take what you've got for now, my friend. Put our gold right back in the green. Um, yeah, we can do a grand tour, which I do want to do once the war is over. I don't really want to be going touring around our lands Why it's in utter chaos. Yeah, this is going to end pretty soon. They've pretty much lost now. It's a shame that the Reach... Is the Reach now not at war anymore? No, King Loris. So that has now gone ahead. Who's he married to in this time? Um... Eliza Hewitt, no one of massive importance, but are they still involved in the war on our side? The um, Tyrells, because they was, and it would be useful. Uh, no, no longer involved as they're, they're now independent from it, which is a shame because the Reach host would probably make all the difference right now. I just don't want the Seven Kingdoms to become the Seven Kingdoms again. It's a bit... Can we demand this off our son without actually affecting his opinion of us yes we can he's actually got gold does he really need gold you know what we need it more than you so i'm going to take the 20 gold it's not going to upset his opinion of us so we'll have it in our pocket better in our pocket yeah that's a huge host 97 percent should end soon and then we can actually start doing our own things again and oh okay we have alliance expired with stefan went as he has died he bled out after a lengthy torture session ouch uh, but we have formed the alliance of his son, who's betrothed to our sister. They should be able to wed within a couple of years' time. That's fine. Cool. 
And enemy ally joined the war. Lord Harold of Claw Isle. A bit late, isn't it? It's going to be interesting to see if Joffrey goes for one of the other seven kingdoms after this. The Voice of Reason. Another council meeting, another conflict. Spymaster Sorana and Duchess Irene are arguing violently about the training regimen of the troops. As Lord, I could silence them with a single word, but I have a better idea. My diplomatic pursuits have given me insight on how to handle situations like these to please everyone. Is she actually the lady of House Brax now then? Uh, side with Serrano without upsetting Irene. Side with Irene without upsetting Serrano. Or find a compromise that makes everybody happy. Do we have a 24% chance to fail that, though? We'll just... We'll, we'll just keep our wife happy. Has she inherited that land now? Didn't tell us that Lord Brax had died. No, he's not died. So, she's not actually the lady of that land yet, is he? I wish he would hurry up and die, though. As long as he out, as long as his wife doesn't die anytime soon, we should be okay. So that we do inherit that land. Can Joffrey just put this war to an end? And we can demand a payment from our friend Lord Ingram of twenty gold, which we will do. We can do it for free. Uh, to the perceptive Robert, I call on you to honour our alliance and join me in the Liberty War. Enemies, okay. Just two houses going against him. Yeah, yeah. I accept. We will help you out in this. Hopefully you can help us take our lands back from House Vance then. I'm just a little bit wary of calling up my banners at the moment. Until these men leave our borders. Because I don't want to end up getting slaughtered by this huge host. So, and that war should end soon. Your culture has discovered urbanisation. Interesting. Uh, the Legacy of the Conqueror. As I am reading the latest uh, missives from around the realm, I cast my mind to its origins. The conquest of the Seven Kingdoms remains one of the greatest feats achieved within one lifespan. I cannot help but ponder the impact of Aegon's conquest on our realm. The legacy of the Targaryen dynasty is undeniable, and its foundations were drawn from that one man's actions. A part of me acknowledges the benefits that have come with Targaryen rule. Stability, centralised power, and the protection of the dragons are not things to be taken lightly. Yet, I also wonder what would have happened had Aegon not crossed from Dragonstone. Would Westeros still be divided to this day? Would a Westerosi have broken the stalemate? Could peace have been achieved without blood and fire? The legacy of the conquest will be debated for centuries to come, but it is for me to decide what I can take away from it. We gain some prestige. All of that for 75 prestige. Our glory is widely known. Uh, enemy ally joined the war, Lord Axel. Okay. Waiting for this to end so we can go and help out our um, friend in Harrenhal. Not calling up my banners, though, until this has left. Because we will get... Yeah, we'll get slaughtered if we run into any... This is at 100% war score now, so it should end any second, and then we can go and help out. And there we go. We lost the war, led by Lord Paramount Edmure of the Riverlands against Storm King Joffrey. Now he's now a Lord Paramount, so be it. Your liege lost their war with Storm King Joffrey, and now we are part of the Stormlands. Stormlands looking like it did what about before Harry and the Black took those lands, so that's interesting. Um, but now we can raise our armies and go and help out our friend. Who should we get to lead this host? Should we just lead it ourselves, or we've got uh, Jonas Bracken ourselves we'll go for we'll go for jonas bracken unexpected abundance uh, although as lord most of my attention rests on matters of governance from time to time commercial opportunities present themselves with which provide an engaging diversion one such opportunity has recently borne fruit far more fruit so to speak than anticipated there's no reason i shouldn't keep the goods and sell them on for a profit myself and yet a wise liege must sometimes share with their loyal vassals Lord Rormond is most deserving of a reward. Gains 20 gold. Gains 20 percent opinion of you. Uh, Lord Mark gains 25 gold. Or I earned this win for and I will keep it. I think Lord Rormond has 100% opinion of his anyway. And Lord Mark can go fuck himself. So we'll keep it for ourselves. The negotiator. During my afternoon stroll down the streets of Grangate, my son Axel runs up to me. Father, they just started swinging at one another when... He is interrupted by a high-pitched shriek, turning our attention to the fight down the street. The combatants appear to be a couple of pages from my court, circling each other in preparation for another tussle. Break it up, both of you. We gain um, 75 prestige, and we could gain the perk firm hand. Or, exciting, we... Well, I don't want to place a bet in case we lose it, so let's break it up and see if we didn't get the... We didn't get the treat, but, uh, trait, but that's fine. There we go, we've got our manpower. Let's march to... Ha wow, that's... 
more manpower than I expected in this Liberty War. They've got more manpower than we have. If we can join ourselves to Lord Went, though, we might be okay. I don't want to go get ourselves in trouble. Is that really all of our military strength? And we finished the Fabric Gate claim. Awesome. See it done. It will cost us a little bit of gold, but not too much. I won't go and claim another one just yet. Because we don't have... I don't want to skint ourselves. It costs a hell of a lot to do it. I'd rather wait until... Then again, it's probably better to do it while we're at war, isn't it? And it can probably be finished by the time we do finish that war. So let's fabricate a claim on Fieldston. Just expand our borders to the east ever so slightly. Uh, what can we get other people to do? I think our control is already pretty decent, so we don't need to mess around with most of these for now. Off we go. Let's go march and help out Lord Went. Lord Aenys has been swayed. Perfect. That's one of our only vassals who are disliking of us for some reason, apart from Lord Mark, of course, but I think that's pretty much a lost cause. Yeah, if we can join ourselves to the Went host. Faction created against Lord Edmure. Your acquaintance, Lord Lyman, created the Liberty Faction. Okay. Lady Irene gained the pregnant trait. Perfect. Hopefully Lord Went will... No, he's been attacked. He's now going to get slaughtered, isn't he? So we won't get too close. Not risking my own manpower. We'll stay here for now. Yeah, they're going to come after us now, aren't they? So let's, let's retreat, I think. Yeah, they've got the other way now. That's fine. This is one of the lands that we could go for, though. The butter around the Butterwell lands. In fact, wow, he's got extremely low manpower. Lord went at the moment. If we could, if we could catch one of these separate on their own, we'd stand a chance. Uh, what the heart wants. My sister Tansy enters my chamber looking disapproving. Brother, my lord, I want to discuss my betrothal, she says. I cannot do it. I don't want to marry Lord Lennox. She continues, where to start? If I'm honest with myself, I can't stand him. Please, brother, please don't make me do it. What will we get if we... We can break the betrothal with Lord Lennox. You will end the betrothal between Tansy and Lord... Do you know what? It's probably not a bad thing. He's about to get destroyed you know what we're, we're ambitious i'm not wasting our manpower somewhere where it's not going to be a, um, an advantage to us so all right you don't have to marry him we will find you someone else this works in our favor alliance expired that's fine we can now return home end our troops but we are going to have to find you a new husband now though hopefully someone in the riverlands it's going to be a decent alliance we've already got the one with blackwood vale haven't we who is lord Malister at the moment, he is married to a Bracken who is ill. That could work out in our favour. Um, I don't really want to get involved with the phrase. Then again, it probably wouldn't be a bad ally to have, would it? But there's that bloody many of them. Um, he's reclusive. Who is his heir? Their positions are overrun, Lord Roman Basgrove declared, his mailed finger poking down at the map before sweeping across the god's eye. This campaign had weighed heavily on the men of House Grand. The wind gusted, whipping the orange fabric of the tent, which was with age had turned brick red toward the bottom. There was no revelry singing along, a hallmark of past Grand campaigns. They are stretched thin, despite their proximity to Harrenhal, Lord Roman continued, his greying hair turning to a rust red as the fire from the brazier danced across him. Lord Root has been harrying their supply trains, we have not heard from their riders in nearly a moon. We have begun sending provisions across the god's eye, along with scouts, but to no avail as of yet. Robert was absent-mindedly flicking at the splitted wood of the table and picking at the loose blue fabric of the tablecloth. Stop sending the aid. They have our steel for now. That will suffice, Sir Ingram said. Robert stopped his fiddling and gave a brisk nod. He had learned from his father to listen more than speak, knowing he must withdraw, but how? The strength and stability of House Grand relied on its alliances with prouder, stronger houses. He would not jeopardise this, yet he pondered the cost in lives. Riders! The call cut through the wind, and the council stood as heavy hoops approached the tent. Swords were drawn as the flaps were pushed aside. Robert's eyes hadn't moved since the call. 
he knew that riders in such a large party, judging by the noise of the hoofs in wet mud, posed no threat. He spoke as he saw who had disrupted the council. Sister, he said absently. She stood, breathless, holding a parchment, which she waved and Lord Roman took, glanced at and looked up. Well? Robert's interest peaked. You had best read it, my lord. Roman's expression was sour. I will not marry him, Tanzigran said defiantly, causing Robert confusion. But as he read, his confusion cleared. The parchment read, To all lords and ladies of the Trident and her vassal streams, as you will have heard, I, Lord Root, knowingly and without scruple broke King Joffrey Baratheon's peace. Sir Lennox Wentz is not by the grace of gods, Lord Wentz's rightful heir. Born of bastardry, he sits in our king's realm in direct contravention of his grace's laws and the gods. They know that my struggle is just. Robert weighed his options. He was not shy of rage, but that would not be prudent. His sister had been dishonoured, yet it seemed his prayers had been answered. Then you shall not wed him. We shall withdraw. I will not have my motives questioned, however. He recalled something he had read about in the history of one of the three cities. We have camp followers. Dip their fingers in ash and have them spread tales of sickness. We will use that as our pretext for withdrawal. He nodded to Lord Walter Pate, a man of capability and networks. For every gold coin that came from Lord Pate, two came from Grangate. Lord Amos Claypool, in charge of the Grand Stores, approached. He had a gaunt face and a bushy beard that engulfed him. Command the drubbers assemble. We leave before dusk. We cannot stay here. Lord Kerwin Greywield, in charge of Robert's outriders, had been bloodied in a skirmish at a mill some thirty leagues to the north, despite Robert's orders not to engage. They were vulnerable, with the Grand Camp lying in a wooded valley and men whispering of queer noises as the trees stood as wooden sentinels. Robert was eager to leave, having found the perfect reason to question the legitimacy of his sister's suitor without tarnishing their reputation of steadfastness. His sister caught his arm as he moved to the tent's flaps. I will have my choice in my next match, brother, she said, her nails digging into his doublet. Robert, a man of compromise, responded. I will give you options. Does that sound fair? He glanced at her hand, her grip loosened. Options? She exhaled. Very well. Robert strode into the low winter sunlight, the hammering of a bell calling soldiers to depart. He fought. They say the sisters of the silent sisters wed the father. She will marry whom I command or the father. Those are her options. I will not put into question our position that hinges so on alliances. He sat, content, watching as ants moved below him and the fabric city of his camp was dismantled. His regent, Melissa Frey. Mm, maybe not then. Who else do we have around? We've got the Brackens, but I wouldn't... I don't want to marry a Bracken because I may want to overthrow the Brackens with our own Brackens. We've got Maidenpool. What about House Mouton? I think we looked at Mouton in the last episode. He's got several brothers. And I think they're all they're all wed. His son's dead as well. There's not... House Rygar? Son and heir. Other sons too young. I don't know who we'll marry our sister to now. Then. There's not really many other options. I don't want to marry to the Vances because we want to take land back from them. Who do we have ruling here? Goodbrook. Only has a daughter. Who is of the perfect age. He's got sisters as well, so that's a shame. Not really sure who we marry you to. We could always go for a Westerlander, maybe, or a Reachman. What have we got here? Who rules here? House Norcross. Does have a son. Who has a son? Lucas Norcross. Arrange a marriage between Lucas Norcross and Tansy Grand. Send proposal. They are on the border. We might be able to do something with that in the future, then. It's not a it's not a bad one to have, I suppose. A bad alliance. Let's not, so now let's just wait for our men to return home. Alliance formed with Lord Hosman. Perfect. It's probably a better alliance, actually. It's literally bordering our lands. Uh, two allies extremely close to us then who are bordering on us. And then the Blackwoods who are only one high lordship away. So they will be able to come to our aid pretty sharpish if need be. Let's disband our armour. Perfect. Um, we'll just let our gold go up a little bit more and then we will plan a grand tour of our kingdom. I don't think there's really any... Do we have any factions against us at the moment? Just one wants lower crown authority. Lord Pate. 37% opinion of us. We will try and... S let's try and sway him. We've already managed to sway the other lord a little bit, so hopefully we can do that. We've got two people who can't join factions against us, which is perfect. We can declare several wars, which we won't do. Yeah, let's um 
let's plan a grand oh, wow grand tour 200 gold so we can't do a grand tour just yet that's going to cost us too much so could always have a small hunt or something no we'll just wait we'll wait until we've got the gold and then we'll plan out a grand tour of our lands and we've had a daughter oh Irene, you have been so brave so strong words cannot describe my love for you and now we have a perfect little daughter let's have a look no inheritable traits um good a riverlander name what haven't we had no we're not going for wold we don't want any fray names flora yeah that'll do got our two sons now and a daughter which is perfect how is our both our sons coming along eight learning and eight intrigue curious and greedy our younger son is yet to show anything too good but he is only young still so that's fine Andrew's favor hook on you has expired. That's good. Well, it's in our favor again. Our gold is increasing. Instance. I can't believe how much it is for a grand tour of just our high lordship. Let's speed things up a bit quicker. And defeat. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not, not too bothered about that. We're not really involved in it at the moment. Anyway, into the impeccable Robert. I've proud through documentations, both ancient and of less certain province. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the lordship of Fieldston. See it done. It's going to cost us money that we don't really have we could do with that for our grand tour to be honest let's have a look so we could go for this land who have we got ruling here house penny and who rules in here house blaintree who obviously moved to the north in our knights of andalia series and betrothed can marry who have we got marina waybridge and jonas bracken yes same proposal let's get that done maybe we should do we do we go to war with that grand now they've got two thousand manpower how much do we have three thousand four hundred who does he have as an ally? Ally to Lord Walton. There. Ally to Lady Bellera of Armstead Wood. Not really anyone powerful. Um, we probably could. Probably could take Lord Vance then, to be honest. He's not got the uh, huge alliances. I reckon we can take him. We could take him and take those two lands just to expand our influence a little bit. Let's... He does have a decent opinion of us, surprisingly. Declare war. Our claims. Let, yeah, let's go and take these two lands. We've not got the gold at the minute, so let's just try and expand ourselves a little bit. We can get some more of our... Then again, I don't think we'll be landing any of our customs there because this house is already there that I don't really want to unland, and we could do with getting ourselves a bit more land. Let's declare war. Um, enemy allies joined. That's fine. We do have a new perk. Let's raise all of our armies. Who do we put in control? Who have we got? Who have we got? Let's go for Jonas Bracken again. We've got a new perk. Uh, it's my domain. Can use extort subjects decision. Fearful troops. Men at arms. Maintenance per dread. Detailed ledgers. Yeah, let's go for that so we can get more taxes. Sounds like the perfect one for me. Right. How much manpower has our enemy got? 13,000. More than I expected. We've got, we've got 10,000 though. And we can call up our allies to war. Let's call up Hornvale, Lord Norcross, and House Blackwood. I think we are going to need them now, unfortunately. I didn't think we would. But we are going to. Let's march off towards the Braxlands so that they can join their host wars. Paid soldiers are going to forage to the receptive Robert. Of course, I shall honour this war. And so has Lord Blackwood. Perfect. And our father-in-law is also going to join us to expand. Just need to retreat away from this huge host. Increased military presence in the Lordship of Wishir. Thank you, Lord Basgrove. Surprised how much Piper men have come to our aid. Right. Do have defensive positions here, don't we? We've got this nice mountain with the river cross and it'd probably be better to post ourselves there instead actually accusations of witchcraft bloodstained cloth crow's feathers strange smelling concoctions this is the evidence presented to me by a group of villagers from Grangate as proof that Tide has been practicing witchcraft in her hut on the outskirts of their village the villagers claim her evil works must be the cause of their bad weather and are calling for her execution let's have a look Pretty, miracle worker, adequate bargainer, 
patient just and humble. She seems pretty decent. Uh, that evidence is circumstantial. Release her. Uh, she must burn for her crimes against the seven who are one, which you say I could use a new advisor. We spend piety to do that, and we could upset the peasants. We're going to upset the peasants in either of those. I suppose we could burn her. We gain piety for it. And satisfied peasants. We don't really have anything else to gain from her, so let's burn her. We've, we've burnt witch, witches and wizards or whatever we want to call them before, so... Greetings, my impeccable vas uh, vassal. I hoped it would not come to this, but I'm left with no other option. I must resign your appointment as steward of the Riverlands. Yeah, that's fine. We're a little bit busy at the moment anyway. Right, so now we've got 15,000 manpower. They're going to march for Pink Maiden. By the looks of it, the Blackwood host is on its way. The Norcross host is also here. Yeah, they're retreating now as they've seen the Blackwood host. We'll wait for the Blackwood host to join us. Let's just move over a couple of provinces. We've got the manpower to beat them. We've managed to sway Lord Pate. Awesome. Warwood is under siege. Let's let's march our host towards them then and see if we can scare them away. 13,000. How much manpower do we have here? More than that, I believe. Wow, a hell of a lot more than that. We will have the river crossing penalty though. Unless we go up and round. We could go up and round. We'll let them retreat slightly. And they're going to split their forces by the looks of it. They've accidentally split themselves up. Perfect time to attack. My host will freaking move. Managed to split them in half. Let's attack this host here. Perfect. Managed to split them in half. Destroy this ally here. And then we can go after the Vance Lords afterwards. This is going to be an easy victory for us. Our Knight Lord Armistead was maimed by John Fernhollow. But that's fine. Our knight's Kratom was maimed by Edric Blaintree, but we have managed to capture Edric Blaintree, so that'll make a decent ransom, hopefully. And this, that's a neutral army, that's fine. Let's now, yeah, let's chase after this Vance host now of 8,000 strong. We've slaughtered their best allies. We should be able to do some serious damage to him if we can catch him off cut to the Blaintree armor. Your acquaintance, Armistead, died. A person of interest to you, Lord Armistead of Sidsroost, died from internal injuries. But he did have a son, though, didn't he? Lord Edgar of Sidsroost, who was our rival. I know our bully wasn't as a child, and he does have another son. So he's yet to marry, though, which is interesting. Twenty-one thousand men here. Let's march into Pure Springs and see how they're going to react. Here we go. Are we going to get to them in time for battle? No, they've escaped. Your acquaintance, Damwell Wakefield, has died, unfortunately. Died in captivity without an heir or land. Sorry about that. Wow, lots of people dying. We have a new Septon. Septon Jordan has died. That's fine. I wasn't overly keen on Septon Jordan, if I'm honest. Here we go. We've managed to capture one of the hosts. Perfect. Outnumber them nearly 10 to 1 as well. So that's going to be an easy victory. We can just chase down. Is this an enemy army here that's been off cut? That's perfect. We've managed to capture Lord Devon Coldwell of Atranta. Uh, my child Axel is now of age to squire. Perhaps I could command a vassal of mine to squire him. I believe Lord Mark of Pink Maiden would be a good candidate. Well, I think that would be a stupid candidate, you idiot. Um, there's only one man for the job. Ingram, does he have a squire at present? No, he doesn't. Let's offer him Axel Grand. Perfect. The seed is strong. As Axel continues to grow, I see less and less of myself in him. Is he even truly mine? Yes, he is. We are 
are going to catch them in time. Perfect to slaughter. So they've, they've split their host. They've split themselves too thin. And it's going to work perfectly in our favour. Our Night John Piper wounded Estian, whoever Estian is. We don't have anyone that we can ransom, unfortunately. No one of too much note. Our Night Lord Ingram killed Doran at Body. It's alright, just some random placeholder house. And enemy combatants captured of House Follow. Can we ransom him, maybe? Here's the remnants of the host. Let's march up towards them. We're at 92% already without having to siege any land down, just by splitting their host up and slaughtering them. What the heart wants? My sister Tansy enters my chamber looking indignant. Brother, my lord, I want to discuss my... No, we've already gone through this once. This time you are going to wed. Not breaking off another betrothal and alliance. You would trade me like cattle against the wishes of my own and of the seven who are one. Well, your choice is made mine for me. I have left to join the faith. My sister will join the clergy. Interesting. That is going to lose our alliance for us, which is annoying. Sway an opportunity in my attempt to align Lord Walter to my interests. I found an opportunity. I think I could argue that our goals are in fact the same as I dictate my next letter. I emphasise those shared interests. I try to maintain subtly. We'll go for that first one. We'll be we'll be subtle. Faction targeters has disbanded though, so by trying to sway him, that has worked in our favour, which is perfect. We are going to now catch this host and hopefully slaughter what's left of Lord Vance's host. Finishing off the Blame Tree army here. That could give us the 100%, I suppose. We're already at 92%, just finishing off that host. Yeah, it has done perfect, so can we demand a hostage? I don't think we can, can we? No. Let's just enforce demands. So be it. Great victory. They actually could do go to us. So we have them now as our own lands. We could land our own characters there, I suppose, then. Rather than the ones who they are owed to. We'll have a little look into that. Our acquaintance, Bryron. No idea who he is. Has died. Not a clue who he is. We can ransom Lord Devon for 50 gold. Very nice. We'll take that all day long. Lord Devon at Trenta paid gold to you perfect let's now disband our host our, our lands have grown we need to get pure springs don't we? we really need to get that at some point what are all these other wars liberty war war for emits claim on high lord and blah, blah 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 yeah nothing of importance to us we have weakened a neighbor though which is good who were the original high lord uh, the Lordship of Baychester Hall. Let's have a look. Who is this actually? Who are the claimants? House Penny. Corwin Penny, who is now a wanderer. Can we invite him to court and um, pay for their travel expenses? Which is 25 gold. He will come to us and then we could land him back there. Um... I made us land. We'll land one of our own houses there. And then the Fieldstone. Let's have a look at the Lordship of Fieldstone. I believe that was House Blame Tree, wasn't it? Yeah, Lord Offer of the Stony Set. Oh, so they've already got lands in the Stony Set. So we don't really need to bother with those then. So we've got two lands here that we can land our custom characters at. Have we got any custom characters left who haven't died who are unlanded still? I think most of them died, unfortunately. We've got. Grey World, who is yet to wed. Did he have a spouse before? He did. Let's let's find him a spouse who's hopefully going to give him some sons before he dies. Inheritable traits, if we can. Someone younger. Um, oh, we've got Melissa Redfield. Perfect. Who is one of our other vassals. We'll wait for that to go through, and then we will land him. And then, do we have anyone else still around that we've not landed yet claypool amos claypool he's also not been landed and he does have a son as well which is perfect so we will grant him the title of fieldstone 
you have been overwhelmed with stress because of that but i don't want to keep too many of these lands i want vassals instead because it's going to work against us of course and then we're going to have to give this one away as well which is going to really upset people um lately it feels like i'm constantly being distracted by my lasavish thoughts and erotic fantasies with all the hardship to my everyday life it is all too easy to lose myself in daydreams and forget about reality these desires are clearly interfering with my life but what should i do about them i'll bite my lip and stay focused uh you go in the trade athletic that's not really a bad one to go for is it or we can convert no we'll we'll gain the trait athletic and perfect you are now able to be landed here which is gonna upset our stress again but there we go you've been overwhelmed by stress yet again but we now have our new vassals so perfect land some of those custom characters before before they all start dying without heirs. It's a massive split here between capitals of high lordships, isn't it? Uh, Greetings, my impeccable vassal. You have been a loyal and devoted subject, and I wish to reward you for your service. In recognition of this, I hereby am offering you the position of steward of Riverlands yet again, which we will join, and he'll probably sack us from within five minutes. Not sure what half of these wars are that we've got going on. Nothing really of importance to us. We are making good income still. Um, his son needed... A needed to squire for someone, didn't he? But may hope. Oh, is he already squiring for someone? No, he's not. Okay. I wasn't expecting to expand so quickly. It's pure springs is the one that I freaking want the most. Who is? Can we actually like declare war on him if we wanted to seize all de jour? Yeah, we can actually declare war on her to seize our de jour land. She's got six thousand manpower allies. Just her son, I believe. I think I will do that just to just to seize it because it does belong to us. So we'll, we'll get that, and then we'll, that'll be it for wars. Hopefully for a while, while we replenish and improve our lands. But I just want that bit of land that does technically belong to us. And while we've got the manpower to defeat her, we may as well make the most of that. Let's go for Horn Vale. I think that'll be enough. Manpower, do we really? Yeah, we'll call, we'll call Blackwood Vale in as well. And we won't call our other ally. That should be more than enough manpower to take care of this war. We um, Greetings, Lord Robert of Grandlands. Of course, I shall honour my obligations. Let's go for... Let's just send Jonas Bracken in again. We know we can rely on him to get the job done. And our father-in-law has also joined us. Both neighbouring that land. Blackwood neighbour it to the north. So they'll be able to just march down into them and... Hopefully we can get a bit of a pincer movement and trap them in the middle of us both. Let's wait for our host to gather up and then we shall march on to the land. And Beslin Pate is no longer your master of the hunt. He was a distant member of House Pate, wasn't he? But that saves us a little bit more money in taxes as well. And, uh, in wages, sorry. Lord Norcross and Tansy Grand are now married. I thought that she was running off to join the clergy. She's obviously changed her mind. Had a bit of a dramatic outburst and decided against a life of celibacy. Is this an enemy army that's ridiculously close just wandering down here? It is. Let's, let's chase them down and finish them off. Blackwood host joined to us. They're going to go after that Brax army now, aren't they? So let's try and march up there and get to them quickly if we can. Yeah, they're tracking down House Brax, but they they should be able to get to us in time. Let's let's march on into Pink Maiden. Yeah, they they've. Cowardly ran away as expected. How much manpower have they got? 10,000 compared to our 18,000. Let's chase them down then and finish them off. The Grand Dynasty is known far and wide. Level of splendor increased. Awesome. An acquaintance of ours has died. Axel Grand increased his prowess by one. Awesome. Sway the good lord while hosting lords and ladies from realms near and far. Some opportunities to portray my vassal lord Walter in good light have presented themselves. Um, but we could gain prestige ourselves, which I'm going to do. 
We are lacking in prestige ever so slightly at the moment. Are we going to be able to capture them now? Yes, and our hosts are coming to join us. I thought that they wasn't going to, and then I panicked. Uh, Lord Walter has been swayed, and loss of control in Grandgate, which is not good. Let's improve that then. Don't want to be losing control in our capital. It's the last thing we want. Let's see if we can win this war quite quickly. Take out the main Vance host, and then we'll march and siege down Wayfarer's Rest. We managed to... Oh no, Jonas Bracken has been imprisoned. Jonas Bracken the Younger, that is. Enemy combatants captured. Clear off. No one of importance, I don't think. Let's siege down Wayfarer's Rest then and hopefully put an end to this war. 56% just from one battle, so... After a short siege, we should be able to win this war. We do have a new perk available. What have we got? Uh, fearful Troops... It is my domain, defensive measures. We could probably go for some of these different ones now. Vassal levy contribution plus 20%. Yeah, I'm going to go for that one for now. Wayfarer's Rest is going to be too powerful to siege down by the looks of it. Instead then, should we just... Let's march south because they're going into our lands. Let's. It looks like they're going to go for Grand Gate, so let's chase them down. Your acquaintance Kalira died in your prison. That's fine. She wasn't anyone of any importance. She wasn't worth anything as a ransom. Or as a hostage. And we are going to have a small battle here. Who's marching on to us? How small wood here from Acorns Ridge. Lady Orene is pregnant again. Hopefully another son. Would be nice. We've got two battles happening here at once. Both that we're going to win. A better guardian. My dear husband, I am worried for our son Axel's education. My wife Irene stays with, her cons with concern in her voice. That fool Floris is not a good guardian. She is simply too contemptuous. Our son needs a good, dedicated guardian. Someone like my perceptive cousin Lilith. Lilith Brax, who's not very good at intrigue, so I think that's going to be a no, I'm afraid. Uh, I chose Floris for a reason, woman. Stay in line. Enemy allies joined war, but it's too late. Enforce demands. Oh, we can demand an, a hostage, apparently. Son of Lady Aline. Who, how many sons has she got? Lord Jace. Ah, so it's not, it's not her heir, Lord Jason is her heir, but he's actually a lord, isn't he? So we can demand a hostage and we will take Devon Vance as a hostage. Enforce demands. Perfect hostage there for us. We can probably do something with that. Devon Vance travels to become your hostage. And we've got Pure Springs back, which does belong to us. And Lord Jason of House Vance is there as our vassal now. So I will let him keep that land. That's fine. We'll have one in our court and one as a vassal. That's going to keep them in line. So they shouldn't retaliate against us. Um, do we have anyone to ransom? No, we don't, but I think that's the perfect place um, to end this episode. Realm will lose land if Lord Jason of Pure Springs inherits the High Lordship of Wayfarer's Rest. Is he? Oh, yeah, he's the heir, isn't he? That's a good point. Can we revoke his title? He will 100% accept. This is an act of tyranny, causing your subject to lose 20% opinion of you, however. Hmm. We won't do anything with that yet. Then we'll have a think about this and what the best course of action is. But yeah, we will end the episode there, guys. So thank you all so much for watching as always. I hope you've enjoyed. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Join the Discord server and hopefully I'll see you all very soon for the next episode.